Sanford. Sanford, well, the name says it already. Sand is the keyword because of the nearby sand dunes. Lots of sand always gets blown onto the track, so it's really important to stick to the fastest line. This circuit is really unique. It's right next to the sea with just one road in between, so you get a bit of seaside feeling. You've got sand, but the sand can also be a bit of a disadvantage on the track. There's that great sea air too, though. First, you have to really put your foot down. Sometimes at Sanford you think you're at the limit, but you still have a second below pace. You really have to accelerate and manage all the turns in one. If you make a mistake on a turn, it's tough not to make a whole lot more during the rest of the lap. In Sanford, you really have to push things to the limit. Yeah, in Sanford. Um, yeah, must man really hard pushing. A very technical circuit, but also very quick. It's important to have the, the car set up right there. It's quite a high downforce track with a lot of fast corners, but also last year I managed to put it on pole. The first ever driver in a year old car to, to earn a pole position. So. Uh, Sanford is definitely a track I'm looking forward to. An amazingly demanding circuit with lots of blind corners and lots of fast sections, slow sections, ups and downs. It's got a bit of everything. The track is uh, really cool, very fast part, like uh, Chevac and uh, the Marlboro Corners. And uh, I think this is one of the best tracks uh, that we have in DTM uh, this season. Sanford on a scale of 1 to 10 is probably an 8. Definitely a 9. I will put a 10 to 10. I would say a 6. Between 7 and 8.